Spray media can include any number of, of applied media. You can take a, a straw or a toothbrush and splatter it, dip it inside paint and spray it onto the surface. You will usually use masks or friskets to mask off part of it. The masks or friskets can be plastic masks or liquid masks. For those desiring to use airbrush, a compressor of some sort is in order. You can buy compressed air that comes in cans or you can buy some of these uh, small model compressors. There's a variety of compressor sizes and hoses. We have a, a small collection here inside the cabinet that are utilized by the various uh, airbrush units that we have. See here an actual airbrush unit. Some water. Of course a lot of material for overspray. And inks or airbrush media that you'll airbrush onto the board. Experimentation here with airbrush to get sort of a cloud effect. I don't have any of the um, mask or frisket material here. For those of you that want to work with that, you probably have to pick that up. It's relatively inexpensive, five, six dollars a sheet for the smaller sheets of it. But what we did with this is just cut paper. And uh, the airbrush compressor that we have is quite loud, so I'm not going to be able to, to talk while it's running. Uh, they come with a variety of hose types and you're going to want to match up the connector and the hose to to fit your specific uh, airbrush type. Now this one's a little bit large so I'm going to swap it out for one of the other compressors. What we've done is we've put some standard sizes on here so you grab a different compressor but if you were working at home you get the different fittings and the different attachments to match your particular airbrush. So let me swap that out and get one that actually does work with this airbrush. Uh, this is an Aztec airbrush. It's all pla the housing is plastic, the interior is metal. This is the case that it comes in. It comes with a couple of um, media cups. I'm just going to use this little tiny media cup. And I'm going to put inside it some uh, transparent liquid airbrush coloring. You can use inks. You can use thinned acrylic paints. Uh, you can thin the acrylic paints with a thinning medium, or you can just thin it with water. We've done it with with both before. I guess the most important thing is to clean the brush uh, when you're done. Some of these may need a little shake up. Here. And I'm going to thin this even a little bit more. I got a, a jar of water here. A cup of water. Okay. And the way we're going to hook this up is screw this onto the compressor. This blue one happens to be uh, fitted with the right attachment to fit the Aztec. And you'll hear it when we plug it in, because I'm going to stop talking, of blowing the air. There's adjustments on the back to control the flow or the amount of air. And then there's nozzle adjustments. And I, this nozzle, I'm going to hook up the cup that contains the media. There's a small intake port here. And I typically when I, I work with an airbrush, I like to work somewhat vertically. So this will be a challenge to me because I'm going to have to turn the cup so that we don't spill our contents everywhere. Again, you're not going to hear me too well as we run the airbrush because of the compressor. I constantly have to struggle with this to keep it from going off. Let's go see if we can get started right away. Now this, uh, this piece of torn paper is sort of taking the place of my, my brisket mask. And I'm holding this because the seal on this, hopefully it'll stay. I don't want it to explode the... Uh... You can adjust the pressure and the nozzle. This might make it come off. So this is the lower pressure. And in this direction is the higher pressure. Adjust the nozzle. Now I'm not caught out of it. You can see the 
batter in here, mm -hmm. the wider here, the more finer one out here. And then when you pull away, uh, you can see the principle behind it that we yeah kind of we need to have a stencil or something to block the page in some way that we use both liquid as well as uh, plastic. It actually is a sheet with a thin film that peels off and it adheres slightly to the paper. So, a lot like a masking tape with a lower tack to it. Uh, it'll stick to that surface and it'll prevent uh, it from being exposed. Airbrush cleaner containers. The homemade version of this is just to buy an oatmeal container with a lid and to, uh, to drill a hole inside it. You could put crumpled up tissue or, or that type of thing inside to absorb it. And you're going to fill it with cleaning fluid or a slightly soapy water. Be careful because I don't want it to rust out. Uh, put it on here and kind of clear the nozzle. Of course, not with the paint in it. With some kind of water or cleaning medium inside it until it starts to run clear. That's probably your easiest way to sort of clean this out.